so this chain is broken this chain is for um, connecting this ring to the prism it's actually I'm just gonna show you where it's, it's connected so it's here you have this some kind of a slot with a chain I'm just gonna pull it out see here's the other end of the chain it's hanging loose it broke I don't know how it, how it happened actually you can still take pictures with this camera it's no problem Just gonna... so this it's working fine even you can even meter so if you put a prism on top of it it will meter but you have to put it on the manual um, setting of your lens so you have auto here and you have a manual what happens when you put it on manual it's like um, depth of field preview so when you uh, put it on manual and you change the aperture the actual aperture blades close so it opens and it closes and um, the meter reads the light and um, it gives you the right exposure uh, what happens what does this chain do this chain so it connects um, this round thing with the prism and actually compensates so here it, there is like something that that's um, I mean, this moving part so when you change your aperture it pushes against this ring this ring changes and also the position of this little thing changes as well I'm just gonna point it out this here so this changes like so and then your prism knows which aperture um, is selected and then it compensates you see the needle moving now this doesn't happen and I want to fix this I didn't find any YouTube video that's why I'm doing making this video and find any YouTube video doing this repair I've seen a video of uh, fixoldcameras.com where you where he suggests that you can change the chain or part of the chain into a wire like a fishing wire um, I'm going to try and fix it without the fishing wire just trying to connect it I found some um, iron wire here yeah there is no autofocus on this but yeah it's actually an old guitar string or piece of a guitar string I'm, I'm also using the tools that I'm finding in the house I was actually going to buy some new screw screwdrivers to do this fix because these are like completely broken but the shops were closed so I um, yeah I'm gonna use these I, I can't wait any longer I want to think operating so I already started a bit by removing this leather or this um, plastic and it reveals already two screws so I'm gonna now remove this leather to reveal the other two screws and then I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside um, I have checked out a website well I, I've seen a blog where they explained with pictures and some text um, and it's I will put it in the link below it's called saltsgeber.at uh, 6x8 chain repair um, and this helped me really well to give me an idea what to do so I'm just gonna start with taking some alcohol and removing the glue let's take you So put this on on the edges so it soaks the glue a bit and then gets loose 
I have a pocket knife. Yeah, it's just I'm using the tool that I have in in reach. I don't have the proper stuff, but I think it's doable. If I re read the article, I don't re you don't really need special tools. Maybe just to calibrate the chain in um, because it ne really needs to be adjusted correctly. So the um, the prism knows the prism knows where um, um, what uh, aperture you're you're using. So I'm just going to put this in this tray, really nicely or organized, so I can find it back. Remove the glue with some more alcohol. Just let it soak in. It's like some alcohol for hygiene but I think it dissolves a bit maybe it's I'm not using the right stuff but anyways it works for me like this make it really clean so when I'm putting the um, the black little thingies fake leather back on top it's really nice and flat you don't have any bubbles but I don't know which glue I'm going to use, maybe some glue that they use for the um, book, or to glue books. I don't know if, this, if that's the right glue, maybe you can give me some advice on that. Maybe some Patex contact glue will be also fine, but maybe a glue that I can still uh, remove when I still need to open the camera for maybe not a repair. Hopefully, I don't need to, but you never know. So I'm gonna clean. I hope this is enough. careful not to stab yourself because that's not nice I still want to I don't know what this black stuff is but um, it was also on the other things I've, I guess it's um, a light seal it's also written in the article that your screws might be covered by a light seal from the ring Just scratch it off. Yeah, be, be sure not to damage the paint on the the body. Be more careful careful than I am because I already scratched a little bit. But yeah, that's it's doable. It's okay. It's um, actually the second Pentax I have. My first one I really had did a really nice deal, incredible deal. I was searching on this. Um, actually, I'm looking a lot on the internet to find cameras, and it was this one website not so popular in Belgium, and. Um, like a lot of people go on on it, but it's it was a before it was a newspaper that you can could buy, and there were a lot of I don't say announcements were with old stuff you could buy. And they also made a, a website, but it's not that popular. But the brand is still known by old people, I think. And ninety nine percent of the time, it's overpriced or crap or whatever. But once I saw a um, Mamiya RB for sale, and it was already, already on there for a week, and I called the owner, they said it was just being sold, so I was like, oh damn it. And then from that day, I checked every, well, let's say every week at least, maybe. And after some time, I saw this set of Pentax showing up. It's not this one, it's another one. Was a set with 
a body, so Pentax 7 a grip, prism, and five lenses. And um, it was, so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna use a screwdriver. It's a Phillips screwdriver. I heard that it's maybe better to use a, a Japanese just screwdriver. So Japanese standard, no, Japanese industries standard screwdriver, screw number one. Be sure to, that you find it back. So I'm gonna put it nice on this tray. Uh, so I just lifted up this thing the mount where you mount the lens on and I see these four holes where the screws go and there's there are some rings on top like these round rings really small and but they are stacked there are like a few rings on each hole and one fell off but I see there are more and I'm going to maybe I use maybe it's not necessary to do this but suppliers grab them all so on this one I have two might be that there's one of these rings came from this stack I think it's to to, um, um, to adjust the height two hmm. I guess one of these rings were from, it's from the top side I think, well, it has to be very, if there are three here, three here, I think it's two on the bottom. Oh, oh damn it. I already lost one. Where is it? You see, it's very delicate. Ah, here it is. Oops. Here's one. So I tried to remember where, in which order they were. So three on top, let's put it just in this tray. The tree on top, the left, and the right, and two below, and two below. Nice. There is a light seal on this, yeah, and it goes like this, it has this shape. This. Ah, this is this is a lens release. This pin, there is a pin here. You can see. It's from the lens release. So um, yeah, you have the light seal here. Here is the the chain sticking out. I think it popped out somehow. I don't know. And there are some, some other screws under the light seal here. Let me just you see oh, crappy screwdriver. It's, maybe this one is smaller. If it works. Yeah, it goes. So again, four screws that I can that I can see. One, two, three, and four. So you have this ring actually now you I just removed the screws for two plates that are right here so I'm now I'm gonna let me just yeah I just can pop it up it's a bit gluey it's because of the light seal don't think I'm gonna touch the light seal just gonna leave it there so it's one part I put it with the here and there is another one I think it's just the same shape there is no difference but for to be sure I'm just gonna put it so here and then this 
aperturing, let's call it aperturing, I don't know the exact name, is revealed. And the broken chain as well, like so. And there's a chain hanging loose. So I need to find a way to connect this chain with this one. But I think we still still need to unveil something here. And there is a a piece. Maybe let's use some alcohol but to be sure. Don't drink it, it's bad for your health. Keep stay off drugs, kids. Or buy a lot of cameras so you can't you don't have money for drugs. Haha. Ha. Okay. Alcohol. I hope I can well the light seal is it is already dissolving, so I think it will also dissolve the glue that's underneath this little plate. I'm gonna clean a bit. Also, when um, when I'm finished, when I'm putting the ring on, I need to put a little bit of fat or a little bit of oil, machine oil, to make it slide really nice, nice and greasy. Okay, maybe I shouldn't use pliers. Maybe it's better to. I don't want to rip it. Maybe it's a piece of plastic. So I'm gonna use my this is army nice and just lift this little thing normally I'm not this careful but it's a video and it should be really showing some responsibility so look I guess is uh there's a little spongy thing or bristle on top of this be sure actually maybe I should put something on the mirror otherwise if things some gooey stuff falls on the mirror it's not not good okay uh, maybe a piece of paper I don't know if this is done or not done but let's just do it like that okay what do we have here so here so maybe it's better to already have a close-up if you open it up you can see a spring here I guess this is to put tension on the on the chain that go, go goes around here I will show you a picture of them um, yeah and um, the chain goes through here it needs to go around here and then goes back here to connect with the chain and connect with the ring so gonna maybe show you the top. So here you see the chain and it goes like that through this hole and then around this pole. Let's refocus. Yeah, um if I put the camera lower I will bump my head because I'm sitting underneath a tripod. So that's not a not a good thing. Oh, there it goes. Where is it now? Here it is. So this is my iron wire. Let me just... Where is my other plier? Okay. We just break it off by folding it a few times. Voila. Actually, I think it that might do the job. We just no, they won't. We just pull it open like nothing. I made a chain link, and I'm now going to solder it.
No, this thing is hot enough to melt. So I put some solder. barely see but there is some on top of it. I can use a straw to put in between here and to shift it to hold it and the chain will become longer. Don't forget to put a chain in here before you solder it otherwise it'll work for nothing. So the chain comes out here and it will make it longer by sticking Don't let it shoot. I just well. So I jammed the straw in, in there. The chain is now longer so we can lay it flat and have some length to work with. This will be challenging. So I'm putting the chain around the link. I hope when I'm soldering it that the original chain won't melt. Then I have big troubles. Yes, I'm doing it. I'm not going to lift it, but here. Is the link? I still need to put some thin in between. Need to close it a bit. Okay.
I think it's connected. Man, it's not, it's not cherry picking. I mean, it's not really, it's, it's not easy. Well, if you maybe, I don't want to ruin it, I think. Ooh, the chain is hot. not what I wanted so now I filled one of the chain links how oh, I should have stopped one of the chain links with solder bit I have some I hope it works fixed okay so I thought it was well um, I soldered it but then I noticed that the chain the links wouldn't move separately that it was so solder on three links so it didn't move properly so I redid it and now it's fixed here's the link here you can barely see it and um, now I'm gonna put it back also put a um, piece of plastic to make the chain longer so to push this back first maybe I have some sheen oil I'm gonna put it on the q-tip and smear it on the um, on the ring so it's nice, slides nicely. We shouldn't use too much. Actually, very little. Then just gonna guide. Make sure you can see it. like so then I'm gonna wind the chain on the ring Now I'm going to release this piece of plastic very slowly to see if it holds. Now 
might jump. Make sure it's right on top of the little wheel. Just pull. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm noticing. I don't know how it comes, but the chain slips off the spool. because maybe it's because the chain is twisted a bit Yeah, that might be the problem. So my chain, I think it was twisted, it needs to be very straight. So now I'm holding the camera body up, I'm just going to zoom out. Yeah, I'm holding it up so this ring can twist freely. Let's see if this works, eh? maybe I'm wrong. Okay, it looks like it's done twisting. Can I grab the ring? Perfect. Look, the, the ring, the um, chain was twisted, and because it was twisted, I always slipped off the spool. But now I let it go, and moves like it's supposed to, though. Okay, I noticed another problem. The chain I made is a bit uneven, which causes which causes this ring to jam up. Look, it goes down, then it pops up. I think if I just file this a little bit. Move the so it's more flat. Will be okay. And while I was turning this dial, this ring, because it was not exactly the same as the rest, it was catching up on the ring itself in the ring. So it was. Um, not moving properly so I took it I took the ring out and then I just put some tweezers I no, pliers I just folded it a little bit or pushed it against and now it's the same um, shape as the other links and it causes no problem it can move freely without catching up on the ring I'm now going to put it all together. See, normally it was you know, it caught up in the ring. Now it goes like it's supposed to go. And I'm very happy and pleased.
So now I'm going to put it back together. I'm going to get some glue. It's like book bindings glue. I think it's uh, it comes out it's some gooey stuff. It comes off quite easily, I think. It's flexible. It's not very permanent. It's perfect. Taking some glue. And the first part was I'm going to put back is this one. So it's a bristle. And you take a little stick and put the glue where it was before. Not too much. I think I used already a bit too much glue. Maybe I should wait before to do this, but I think it's it's right that the, the chain length is perfect. But I'm gonna calibrate the prism, the light meter with my other um, Pentax to, feed, to see if it's correct but I think it's correct, it looks like it it's the same length I'll put it back Next, would be these things. Oh, oh. Make sure there is no gooey light seal on it so it doesn't smear the ring because I think that's what's going to happen here use a q-tip to um, to remove the junk Man, I'm so happy that I'm not, I was working on it so long, a bit too long, especially for making the chain. I made it myself with the, just so the actually guitar string and some solder, and it worked. Good. I'm gonna take the screw. Don't drop it. It's a small screw. This is number one. Number one. This is number one. Bam. This is number two. Voila. Then I take the second second plate. So I'm gonna clean a little bit. First screw. have to push back the ring a little bit to be able to put the plate properly and then the second screw clean the 
clean it up a bit. Remove any dust, then have these. I'll put this on a screwdriver and drop it on top of the screw holes. So I have the little round rings on top of the screwdriver. I just drop them on top. It's an idea, I don't know if it's gonna work. It looks like it's going to work. So, so. And then we'll have this ring. Uh, this mount, just gonna dust it off. Good. So the lens release goes through this hole, and then slowly I will drop it down. Aha, uh -huh. so the aperture ring or the, the ring we fixed needs to be shifted a bit so it drops down perfect. And the rings are in the correct position, like the lower links. So now I can put the screws down, and we're almost there. Bam, last screw. Let me just put um, the prism on top before I'm going to stick these back on to see if it's working. Let's take the lens, just gonna zoom out a bit. Up. First prism and then lens, always on Pentax. I don't know why, but yeah, otherwise if you put the lens these are not going to line up. Just going to dust it off. Put it on top. Put the lens on. Clicks. Let me see. Oh, it's still on manual. Oh, the paper is still inside. Man, I thought I broke it. Whew. I forgot to remove the paper from the, the mirror. I thought I was, I don't know. I had a mini heart attack. I didn't know why. So don't forget if you put a paper to here, don't forget to remove it. Maybe not with pliers. Just, just grab it. Up. Now. Okay, la moment supreme. 
light meter is working. Yeah, it's moving properly. Let me just check with my. So here's my other baby. I just put the same lens on. I will put. Um, let me just focus a bit more. Up. I'll put the shutter speed, let's say, on 60. I ISO on 400. And let me check if on the subject if it's the same. Exposed like that. Correct. So they're both calibrated. Perfect. Um, I don't know if I need to show you. Uh, let's just finish it all up. And I will also show you the, the gluing process just to make it final. I've seen there are some, there is another defect on this camera and I might change it, fix it as well. The, this strap thing is a bit loose as you can see that might be the second fix I've seen some yeah and also not only that but the spool inside is a bit harsh should be should apply a bit of oil I'm just gonna use some spit too or water. I'm using water to remove the glue, the excess glue. It's water based glue, so it goes off like that. Press, 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 press. Good. Make sure to apply sufficient enough glue on the edges so it doesn't peel off. Yeah, once I I have a Pentax MXX and I put some leather clothes on this thing. Looks really neat. I also use this glue. Still on there, holding strong. It's really nice. Maybe I will show you. It's really nice, nice com. I also very love that that camera. It's so basic, Pentax MX. 
and the viewfinder is huge when you look through it oh I love it and it's all mechanical even my light meter is not even working but I don't I don't care <laughs> I don't care I just use an external light meter or I just guess that's also possible but it's oh and it feels so good in your hands it just it's it, it's molded in there and it's so small and so compact I think I don't own that many cameras but from all of them yeah I have a crush on it yeah my I should do a better job in gluing but it becomes transparent so you won't see the white now it's some see some white but it'll disappear just press a bit up and lost oh two more Make sure all the edges are covered because there it's the first place to release. last one and then I just need to let it dry maybe dust it off a bit and then I'm done thank you for watching I hope you thought it was useful and you I hope you could, can fix yours if it's broken I would say it's not the hard thing is the making the the chain link that was the hardest part the rest is simple make sure to if you make a link that is the exact same size or at least the same width it doesn't need to be the same length but I think the same width otherwise it's um, it catches on in the inside mechanism and doesn't move smoothly I think that's the hardest part or you can just buy a ring I, I didn't want to use a wire just like to do I think because fixoldcameras.com says you can in a video but I don't know if it's working well I, I guess it works but I didn't <laughs> maybe yeah I just didn't have the proper wire I could go to a shop but yeah it's nicer to spend your whole day with this magnificent beautiful camera it's a pretty thing it's a beauty love it love it thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it um, well, like my video and so other people can see it as well. Thank you. Bye.